Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial on how I go about designing my stream overlay designs and how I set up my OBS. Shall we begin? First off let's open up Photoshop. I shall gather all the materials that I need to start designing my new overlay. For starters I personally like to sketch out an idea first and base my design off of the sketch. Next let's add the background designs. Once I had placed the designs within the file, the final step would be making the size adjustments for the background designs. Now once that is done, let's grab ourselves that inspiration design and add elements from this design into our own design. I like the caution signs, so let's make the theme around that. Let me quickly adjust the background image and let's start placing our boxes to match our sketches layout. Let me quickly space out everything and make sure that the boxes are evenly lined up with one another. Once everything is properly lined up let's hide the background and add a black color background for the background layer. Now that we have the basic template, let me open my assets file where I will repurpose these older designs into our new overlay. Let's begin with the media boxes first. Alright after I added all three of the media boxes in their respective areas. The next thing I will do is to add the viewer chat box to its position. Once done let's move our attention towards the GIF box. Yes that is GIF with a letter G. Next I am going to copy and paste the chat box and rotate it and resize it into the video box. Next let me bring back the caution signs and resize them so it is easier for me to use. The next step that I am going to do is sample the colors from the caution sign and add its colors to my media box. Lastly, I am going to adjust the colors, the type, and the size of the text to fit inside the text box. I had to repeat the process for the other two boxes as well. Now that the media boxes are done, I had to add the same color adjustment for the GIF box, video box, and the viewer chat box as well. The next step I will change the text in the chat box to a more fitting title. Once the colors and the adjustments are made to the new title, then let us focus our attention back towards the media boxes down below. With a quick white outline added to the type, I will go back and add the same thing for the viewer chat box also. Next I am going to color the media icon to match the caution theme so it can pop more. The same thing was also done for the remaining media icons as well. Back to the assets file, I will take the caution lines that I had designed and bring them into the media boxes. After recoloring the caution lines, I made some slight adjustments and sized it for the text within the media box. Lastly I will copy the caution lines, mirror it and color it black. Once I am satisfied with how it turned out, I can copy and paste it for the next two media boxes. We bring our attention back to the viewer chat box and once again we copy and paste the yellow caution lines there and make the appropriate adjustments and then it is considered complete. Let's add some text where the inspiration design had placed it. Then I will add the title of the game, adjust the font design and then add a silly subtitle after it. 
Since this is a caution theme design, why not have a little enjoyment with this next title? Next, let me show you my two methods of how I export my overlay designs. The first one is the easiest as it will be as simple as exporting out the template without the background as a PNG. The second method will be a little more difficult, as the first thing we need to do is slice everything into the appropriate layout. Next we will export it for web and select everything we want. After that we can delete the useless images. Lastly we open all the pieces and create a new blank file. Once we add all the pieces together let's take the original and place it on top of the pieces to make it more vibrant. Then we export it out as a PNG. Now that we are back on the home screen you can see the two different styles of the same overlay. Now that the overlays are fully completed, let's open up OBS. Let me quickly show you how I set up a new streaming template for my streams. Once we have the final adjustments made, allow me to show you how I add my widgets. This here is my starting soon card, the countdown, my live stream and overlay from a real time stream segment and lastly I want to share a quick snippet of the overlay in action. Then to wrap everything up here is my end stream card. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my quick tutorial on how I design my overlays and OBS stream setup tutorial video. If this video gave you some insight on how streamers go about things behind the scenes, be sure to like, subscribe, and share the video as I will be signing off. Many thanks and bye bye.